If you're starting to learn cloud computing and you're finding it really complicated and every time you look for a topic, you find that there are so many other subtopics you need to learn. Well, in the 13 years of me working in the cloud and cybersecurity space, this is my honest truth and secrets for how you can get on the right track for learning cloud computing in a way that lets you get a job and be finally you're able to at least have a set direction for how you can start building the right foundations for learning cloud computing. So in this video, I'll share five truths about the cloud computing space. First thing you should look out for is IT fundamentals. You need to be able to understand what is the difference between virtualization? What is the difference between a cloud? What is the difference between a server, an endpoint, and the list goes on. Having this foundational information is important because when you get into a job, and I'm telling you this from 13 years of working in this IT and cybersecurity space, when you first get into a job to be able to understand what's the difference is, you're not gonna ask your manager or your boss, hey, what's the difference between a workstation and an endpoint? This is the worst. The second thing you need to understand is networking. All of these understanding of servers, virtual machines is pointless if you don't know how to make them talk to each other. That's where networking comes in. A server, another server needs to talk to each other and the way they separate, for example, you would hear that, hey, this is my dev environment, this is my test environment, this is my production environment. Having that separation between the different kinds of application is done by something called networking and there's a lot more detail to it. There's IPv4, IPv6, TCP, IP. Having a foundational knowledge of that would be very crucial or for your job as a cloud engineer or even a cloud security engineer because that's what's required in your day-to-day -day job. The third thing that you require is understanding of the basics of cloud computing. For example, now that you understand the servers, the endpoints, the virtualization, the networking, you've understood all of that. And now he's wondering, how does that apply to cloud? Say you pick a cloud. You need to be able to understand the difference in how networking and the server endpoints work in a data center versus a cloud. Now, pick any cloud, doesn't matter which one. You need to be able to understand the difference, how to bridge these two things together. And that is where your understanding of the difference of shared responsibility comes in between, hey, when it's a cloud, this is what I need to understand, where my responsibilities are as an employee of company X. And when I'm on the data center, this is what my responsibility are. So the basic understanding of shared responsibility, which is basics of cloud computing, is very essential for your job as well. Because when you're in the middle of an incident, whether it's a technical incident or a security incident, you want to be able to understand who am I calling, where is the line of responsibility that I have. Pick up, you bastards! Now, the final point I want to cover is if you are someone who's trying to be a cloud engineer, a cloud security engineer, doesn't matter, just an application developer out there who just curious about cloud, you want to understand cybersecurity basics. And I don't mean in the sense that you want to be hacking, but you want to understand enough that you know that, hey, it's a bad practice for me to leave my passwords on a GitHub repository. You would not do that for your own machine. Why would you do that for a company machine? Similarly, other cybersecurity basics could also include, hey, you need two-factor authentication, like the OTP tokens we get on our mobile phones. These foundational pieces obviously help you make a great DevOps engineer, cloud engineer, but it may be quite overwhelming and very difficult to start with. And because a lot of you have asked us for it, we are starting a whole new dedicated series on our channel to talk about what are some of these basic foundational pieces that you can understand and what are the examples for them in the cloud context so definitely don't forget to subscribe and follow. If you have any questions about cloud, cloud security, or even Kubernetes for that matter, definitely drop that as a comment because we'll be covering a lot of that ongoingly on this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.